Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be teaching you how to use SketchUp. First of all, I'm gonna be explaining to you the tutorial flow. First is introduction. I'm gonna be introducing you to the program, what it is and what it is for. Next is getting started. Um, I'm gonna be giving you the download link for the program and teaching you how to install it on your computer so you, so you can get along. Next is the tutorial proper itself and how to use it, how to navigate it. I'm gonna be giving an example and then explain the tools along through the course of the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. SketchUp is a 3D modeling software that is used for purposes such as architectural design, woodworking, and many more that needs 3D modeling. This software is very suited for woodworkers and architects because they can use it to 3D model their designs. SketchUp debuted in 2000 as a general purpose 3D content creation tool. SketchUp was acquired by Google and is renamed Google SketchUp with several versions to follow. SketchUp was then bought from Google in 2012 by Trimble Incorporation and is now what we currently use. Now we will proceed on how to acquire the program. I have given in the description below the links to download the program so that you can follow along. After you extract the archive, open the folder and click the installer. And wait for the installer to extract itself. In this window, we click next and click install. Click finish and go back to the folder, open the crack folder, select all files and click copy. Then in your desktop, you will see that the program comes in three packages, Layout 2019, SketchUp 2019, and Style Builder 2019. Right click and then open file location. This will open a file explorer and then right click and paste the copied items. In this prompt, click replace the files in destination. Continue and close. Now you have finally installed SketchUp 2019 in your computer. Now that SketchUp is set up and installed, you can now proceed to the tutorial. Open up SketchUp. And this is the first window that you will see when you first open the program. In this tutorial, I will use a table as an example to teach you how to navigate and to use the different tools of the program. Click on more templates, scroll down, and click on woodworking inches. This is the user interface of the program. And at the top, you can see the toolbar with the different tools. And on the side, is the default tray that has the materials and the different textures that is available to us. Below is the instructor which is a helpful guide in dealing with the different tools of the program. Below the instructor, located, is the display area in which measurements are displayed when we are using certain tools in the program. To navigate in SketchUp, we're gonna be using the orbit tool here or we can just press and hold the mouse wheel button and navigate in SketchUp. Now to zoom in and out, we just need to scroll up and scroll down. Now to navigate further, we're gonna be using the orbit tool along with the shift key on our keyboard to get a different perspective on the model. Press and hold the mouse wheel button along with the shift key and your cursor will change into a hand and you can drag around and see different perspectives on the program. 
SketchUp has three different axes, the blue axis, the green axis, and the red axis. In this tutorial, we're gonna be starting by creating the legs of a table. So first, the first tool is the rectangle tool which allows us to create flat surfaces of rectangles that we can later on extrude using other tools. The rectangle tool is located here or we can just type R in our keyboard. Now we're gonna be zooming in here in the origin in which the three axes are intersecting. We're gonna be clicking once and as you can see the rectangle tool creates these grid lines that serves as a guide. Now I wanted the rectangle to be, the, to be 2 inches by 2 inches as the dimension so I'm just gonna be typing 2 comma 2 and hit enter on my keyboard. And as you can see, we have created a square of 2 inches by 2 inches rectangle flat surface. Now to make this a leg, we're gonna be extruding it using a different tool called the push and pull tool. The push and pull tool is located near the rectangle tool which is just beside it. Click on it and click on the rectangle flat surface and as you can see, it makes the rectangle 3D and I'm gonna be typing whatever value that I wanted it to be so I'm just gonna be typing 16 as the height of my table leg click enter and there it is the first leg is completed now we need to duplicate this so that we can create more copies and join them together to form the base of our table now to select this we're gonna be going back to our select tool, spacebar on your keyboard, highlight it, and we're gonna be creating a component so that these pieces are glued together when we are attaching them to different parts of our table. So to create a component, we can do right click, make component, or we can as well hit G on our keyboard, and then hit enter. Now that we have created a component, we can select the leg and use another tool which is called the move tool to move this leg around. You can use the move tool to move the leg around and move objects around in SketchUp. And we can use to by hitting control to copy things in SketchUp. So I'm just gonna hit control on my keyboard and as you can see, we have created a copy of the leg. Now I wanted the leg to be 19 inch apart so I'm just gonna be typing 19 inch and hit enter. Now that we have created these two legs we can again repeat the process to create the extra two legs so we have four of the bases. Select the two legs, click the move tool Snap it around the red axis and click the control to duplicate. Now type in the value that you wanted it to be. I want it to be 25 inches apart and hit enter. Now that we have created 4 of our bases, we can now proceed to creating the side rails of our table. Now I'm going to be starting with this first leg and using again the rectangle tool. I'm gonna be creating the side rails from this corner. Drag around. I want it to be 4 inches. So I'm just gonna be typing 4 inches. And after that, we have created another flat rectangle on this leg. Now I want the rectangle to be in the center of the leg. So we can later extrude it to make it 3D. Now to move it, we're gonna be using the move tool. I'm on your keyboard, I'm gonna be clicking here in the corner or you first select this rectangle click the move tool click on the cor corner or you can as well click on the midpoint and snap it to the middle of the leg you can see that it is snapped in the middle of the leg when it shows violet here click after that, we have finally placed 
the rectangle on the middle of the leg. Now again, using the push and pull tool, we can extrude this rectangle and copy it to other parts of the table. And there you go. We have finally created the four legs and the side rails of the table. Now that we have created the four legs of the table as well as the side rails of the table, the only thing left is the top of the table. To create the top of the table, we're gonna be using again the rectangle tool from the other corner of the leg to the other corner of the leg. By doing this, we have introduced unnecessary lines that's gonna interfere with us when we use the push and pull tool. If we use the push and pull tool right now, we will have cuts on the table, and we don't want that. To delete these unnecessary lines, we're gonna be using the eraser tool. Just click on the lines that are not needed, and delete them. Now, we can already use the push and pull tool. But I wanted the table to have an offset so that it has design. To use the offset tool, it's just beside the push and pull tool, Click on it and click on the face that you want to have an offset. In this case, I want the top of the table to have an offset of 1.25 inches and click enter. As you can see, by using the offset tool, it also introduced unnecessary lines that's gonna interfere with us by using the push and pull tool. We're gonna be using again the eraser tool to delete these unnecessary lines so that we can use the push and pull tool. Now, we can use the push and pull tool and I want the table to have a thickness of 1 inch. <coughs> As you can see, our table is finally completed. Now, the table is now completed but I wanted the table to have a wooden look and we can use the material tab to introduce textures in the 3D model. Click on the material that you wanted to use and it will automatically select the paint bucket tool that we can use to paint over the 3D model. By using the different tools in SketchUp as well as navigation tools, you can explore and discover as well as create architectural designs and woodcrafts in this 3D modeling software. This is Rocky Walter Alegria, 11 STEM1 represent. That's all. Thank you.